In today's video, I'm going to be going over the secondary targets involved with the KO Perico heist. I'm going to be going over their value, where you can find them, and finally, which ones you should be targeting. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Frantica, and this channel is dedicated to the best money guides, tutorials, and anything you might find helpful or funny to do with GTA Online. Now, if you like the sound of that, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload brand new videos. Alright, let's get it. Forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, if you didn't know already, here are the five secondary targets. We've got cash, weed, cocaine, gold, and finally, paintings. Now, each of these secondary targets are actually worth a different amount of money. And every time you start the KO Perico heist again, these secondary targets move around. So they're never in the same spot. So even though you found a secondary target at a certain location at one time, it might not be there again, or it might actually be replaced by a different secondary target. And on top of that, your character can only hold a certain amount of loot in his bag. So you've really got to be picky on which secondary targets you want to leave the island with. Now on the island, there are four main spots where the secondary targets will spawn. First off, we have the airfield, then we go to the north dock, then we have the main dock, and finally we have the compound itself. Now you're going to be able to find cash, weed, and cocaine at all of the four locations that I just mentioned. But the gold and paintings only spawn in the compound. Now you need to know this because in order to actually get the loot in the compound, you need a second player because you both need a key card. You both need to insert your card into the card reader at the same time. And you can only do that if you have another person playing. Now there is actually an exception with this and the exception is with the paintings that you can find in the office. Now if you didn't know, the office is actually the room where you have to use the fingerprint scanner to get into the lift, to get out to the basement, to get the primary target. Alright guys, now you know where to actually find all of the secondary targets, let's actually take a look at which ones you want to prioritize, the ones that are going to make you more money. Now the first secondary target that we're going to take a look at today is weed. Now when we're stealing the weed, each stack is going to fill up our bag by 33% and it's going to sell for $109,000. So if we fill our bag with weed, we're going to come out of the house with $327,000. Next we have cash and each stack only fills up our bag by 25%, which is the lowest on the list today, but it only gives us a total of $89,595. Now this means if we fill our bag with cash, we're going to come out with just over $358,000. Up next, we're going to take a look at paintings. And one full stack of paintings being one painting equals to $192,000. So if we're able to get two paintings, we're going to end up with a total of $384,000. Up next, we have cocaine, which is the highest item that we can actually steal if we are playing solo. One full stack of cocaine takes up 50% of our bag and has a value of $221,760. Now if we are lucky enough to fill our bag up with just cocaine playing solo, we're going to end up with $444,520. Now up next we have gold, which you can only get if you have two players because you need to unlock the door. This is a weird one, it actually fills up your bag by 65% of your bag space per stack. One full stack of gold does sell for $332,088. It is a little bit of a weird one, but if you can fill your bag up with two stacks of gold, or as much gold as you can, you're going to end up with $503,000. Alright everybody, now as you can see here, I stole the pink diamond, I picked up two bunches of cocaine, I took money out of this hidden safe wall, and as you can see, I'm finishing the heist with just over $1.8 million solo, which is absolutely insane. Guys, try and get this for yourself as well. Alright everybody, I hope now you know which secondary targets that you want to go after. If you have, make sure to leave a like to let me know that this video has helped you out. Guys, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I'm bringing out heaps of videos to do with the KO Prico heist and all things GTA. And finally, guys, down in the comment section, let me know what your biggest take has been. Alright, everybody. 
I'll see you online.